I first met Mrs. Smith in 1991. We chatted freely all about her life, her school days, and I did that on several occasions. Mrs. Smith had um, a room sort of uh, re-wallpapered every year, which is why there's lots of layers and she had somebody come in and do it so that it was always clean and tidy. She was in excellent health. She attended lots of things. She was a, a very strong Methodist. She was still making her chutneys for the stalls there and um, she was going out and about. She went down into the village but she also had deliveries made um, because Wellborns would always deliver um, and so would odd ladies. Well, when we first decided that the cottage was going to be a museum, we could not believe how much was stored in the outbuildings. Um, we've got bottles and bottles, masses of newspaper, but everything had a use. So the uh, newspaper was to um, scrunch up and uh, put into the fire. On the night that she fell, um, when I went to see her in hospital, she told me that she'd got to the bottom of the stairs and had forgotten something and she turned around and twisted herself and fell but she wasn't on the ladders she was just at the bottom she was all right um, at arithmetic but she wasn't very keen on writing of course it was all on a slate in those days um, and she didn't really enjoy school, I think because it was so strict. She took no exams whatsoever, but she was able to leave at 13 and a half, she told me, because she not had one day off in the last year at school. And that really was very unusual in an agricultural um, village. As I remember saying one day to her, um, it was amazing what beautiful skill she had. And she said, ah, I've got beautiful skin because of the water. And I said, well, what's so special about it? Well, she said, I don't wash in the tap water. I wash in the water from the well. Oh, I always thought it was a lovely little cottage. <laughs> All warm and cosy with a lovely fire. She was quite happy because she had toilet down the bottom of the garden, which is where she'd always known toilets to be. And she said, well, I didn't ever want an inside toilet. And I said, why not? And she said, well, she said, I've got to lose half of my wash house. Everybody knew Mrs. Smith. They'd go to the Hedge. She'd go to the hedge from her garden and they would have a tour. But she was she was a lively character, um, very active for her age. That's why she was never ill, as I say, for many years when I knew her. She went to the homely residential home. And while she was there, she was desperate to get back home for the spring because she loved to see all the shoots and flowers coming up in her garden. But sadly, it was not to be. Because 1995 was um, the year when she died and many people at that point had already, people who knew the cottage, had already said to themselves, including myself, this really ought to be conserved after Mrs Smith's time. 